there guys, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for taking a minute to click on the video and see what this is all about. If this is your first time here, um, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so that way you get a notification when I do post. And um, I guess we'll just go ahead and get on to it. So, you probably are here because narcolepsy is in there and it's tagged and you're like, hmm, I wanted to know what narcolepsy is about or whatever it is. So, I am coming to you today with my facts, with my experience so far. You may know me around social media as Scaredy Ginge. I game, I stream, I do all of that and I have a ton of fun with it. But I thought that I could use this kind of platform in a sense to get some facts out and to also get some awareness out because there's not much of it about what I have and so why not? It's a great tool and I'm gonna use it. So I've decided to start a vlog. I've decided to start talking about this on the real real so we can get on the level and you guys can understand and possibly it can help you or somebody else that you know. That's kind of my goal with this. I really hope that that's what this becomes. Um, and I mean, if it does, then I've just, I've done my job. And I like, I really hope that this will help somebody in the future. So what exactly is narcolepsy? Funny thing about that is doctors really don't even know at this point. Um, scientists don't, nobody really knows. We just know that we have it. We know that we have a sleep disorder and we just live with it and deal with it and go on about our daily lives the best we can. Sometimes it's very hard for us. Sometimes we deal with things that people don't realize narcolepsy causes, um, which I think is the hardest part about it because people think that narcolepsy is simply you fall asleep all the time randomly just because that's what narcoleptics do. When in fact, we don't really all fall asleep all the time for no reason, randomly, just whatever. Um, some of us, it's I personally don't really do that. Every once in a while, I will. Um, and to be honest, it does not happen like kind of the movies put it out there as, such as you don't just fall asleep and fall over and fall to the ground. And you don't just pass out randomly like how they make it funny because that's not what it is. For me, I fall asleep with my eyes open. Um, there are times where I can be in the middle of a conversation and I'm just gone. I check out and I don't realize I'm doing it. My husband is the one that will usually kind of call me on it. Um, and also when I'm streaming, it happens often. And it's honestly quite embarrassing. Not something that I like and I'm sure a lot of other narcoleptics don't like it either. Um, and. I just want you to know that that's not really the biggest part of narcolepsy. It sucks. Um, unfortunately, it causes car accidents. It makes it so people can't have driver's license, uh, their driver's license, and so many other things. But there is so much more to narcolepsy, and there's still so much more to be found out about it that I think it's completely unfair that as a society, everybody thinks that narcolepsy is simply you're just tired all the time and you fall asleep randomly. Because if that's all that it was, I really don't think that we would have such a problem with it because hey, there's always medication out there to fix it. There's always things to make you feel better, but that's just not the case. So let's get into what narcolepsy is thought to actually be and what we as narcoleptics deal with and go through on a daily, daily basis. So what is narcolepsy? <laughs> narcolepsy is thought to be, now this is a theory, I'm not a doctor. I'm just kind of taking what my doctor has told me, what I've read, what I have kind of heard from other narcoleptics, what, you know, we've all kind of grown to believe and understood it to be. At this point, narcolepsy is thought to be that the chemical in your brain called hypocretin, which is used to regulate sleep, regulate wake, uh, wakefulness, and regulate appetite, it either isn't there or your body is attacking it. So it's, we're kind of on the cusp right now of possibly finding things out, which I think we're all super excited about, but essentially it's either that we have an autoimmune disorder, so our body is attacking something, even though it's made by our own body and it's completely safe, our body is simply just attacking it because it doesn't think so, or we just lack it. We either lack it or it's not made enough or something along those lines. And so, again, 
it's just so misunderstood. And unfortunately, with that brings the fact that with not knowing what it is, it's hard to be diagnosed with it. It is hard to treat it. It's hard for other people to understand it because our lovely Hollywood has made it that narcolepsy is only that we fall asleep randomly and that's all that it is. And while I wish that that's all narcolepsy was, and I think I can say that for just about every person that has narcolepsy, that's not it at all. Um, it's much more, it's much deeper than that, and it affects us on such levels that people just don't understand. And that's part of why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to kind of sit down, get it out there, and, you know, kind of make this into something more educational with some of my own experiences because that's incredibly important because, well, you know, our experiences are literally what make this disorder and it's what makes it so different for each person. So why did I make this video? Because I am sick and tired of people telling me that it's okay to be tired, that I've been tired like you before, that what you have isn't really such a big deal. Just take your medication, it'll be fine. That I can carry on a complete full life and not have issues and that I'm using as that or that I'm using it as a crutch or that you know, there's nothing really wrong with me. Just sleep more and I'll be fine. I get that a lot. Or, you know, just shut up and stop talking about it. Here's why I'm not going to do that. Here's why I will never shut up about narcolepsy or why I will never ever give in to the people who think that I use it as a crutch. One, I don't use it as a crutch. It is something that I live with on the daily. It is something that I have grown from. It is something that has taught me a lot about myself. And it is something that I believe more people should know about. Because the truth of the matter is that even though it's rare and that it's believed that only one in 200,000 people have it a year, it's actually believed that it's incredibly, incredibly normal that a lot of people have it. But unfortunately, it's misdiagnosed with depression or anxiety because, again, that's something that we deal with, you know? Um, and I just, I'm, I'm sick of the misinformation out there. I'm sick of people thinking they know everything about it when in fact you know nothing about it and that is why when somebody asks me about it I will share links with them directly from you know sleep disorder sites and such because I don't know everything about it they don't know everything about it nobody does but when you come at me and you come at any of us and you simply tell us to just go take a nap to make us feel better don't you think we would have done that in the first place I mean I feel like we would have and we have I've tried a lot, a lot, a lot of times, and I just, hmm, I can't seem to get it, so I don't know. Um, but that's why I'm making this video, and that's why I'm gonna continue on with this. My whole thing with this is I'm going to make this into a experience of narcolepsy from me, from my point of view, from the things that I deal with daily, from the things that hit me and hit my husband and you know the things that hold me back there's only so much that i can control i can't control when i'm tired i really wish that i could i wish that i could control my cognition i wish that i could stop my brain and my body from feeling like i've run a marathon when literally all i've done is walk from my bed to my chair that's that sucks um and you know this is just this is me this is this is coming to you raw and just how i'm feeling but you know I'm, I'm really hoping that with this i can reach you know out and help those that are dealing with the same thing or might be dealing with the same thing or maybe you're dealing with something different but of the same just like everybody thinking they know what's wrong but not having an idea whatsoever i don't want us to continue on a path of continuously being broken down and made fun of and used in memes and all of that when in fact what we're dealing with is very very real and it's serious and it can be deadly i mean point blank and the more people that know about it and the more people that become aware of it the possibility that you know something gets changed or figured out becomes bigger you know what i would love is for scientists and doctors and 
FDA and the government to put a little bit more into research for this because it exists and it's real. You can see it on sleep studies, you can't hide it and you can't fake it. So it would just be wonderful if, you know, more thought and more research and more funding was given to it because I think I can speak for all of us that have any disorder or disease that's rare. It sucks. It sucks having something that there is nothing out there for. You give us, you know, crutches and you give us, you know, little things to help, but nothing fixes it, nothing changes it. And, you know, I don't expect things to change overnight because if that was the case, if that was able, then hey, I probably wouldn't have this issue today, but here we are. Um, and that's kind of, you know, that's, that's why I'm going to make these videos. That's why I'm going to just hope and pray that I touch somebody's life out there who's having a really hard time right now, who doesn't realize that it's not normal to be tired 24 seven, who, you know, doesn't realize that sleep paralysis, well, yes, it happens to just about everybody. It's not normal for it to happen all the time. It's not normal to fall asleep randomly. It's not normal to, you know, freeze up when you get really excited. Those things are not normal. And I just, you know, I hope that this video will kind of portray that and get that across. And, you know, I hope that this series or whatever it is that this ends up turning into becomes bigger. And, you know, I want you to make videos about it. I want you to talk about it. I want you to be open about it because the only way that people are gonna understand what we're going through and the only way that people are going to start making a difference with it is if we get our voices out there and you know, we make it into something big because it is something big, but society doesn't believe that it is. And yeah, so that's just kind of, that's, that's, that's what this all is. That's what I want this to be. And you know, I'm happy and excited to see where this goes from here. I will leave links below to the narcolepsy um, Reddit and I will also leave links to uh, like sleep disorder websites and American Sleep Medicine which is where I see my doctor in America um, but you know I just I really hope that this becomes something bigger than what it is I'm not saying I want people to get diagnosed with it more but I just want people to understand it better I want people to know that it's not normal and it's not okay to feel the way that we're feeling 24 seven and it's not okay to make fun of it. It's not okay to make it into jokes and everything because for us, it's not that whatsoever. There is nothing joking. There's nothing about it that's funny. It's painful. It's, it's all of that. It's real, it's raw. We deal with it, so, but. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thank you for kind of hanging out and listening to me <laughs> talk and talk and talk about this, but I will catch you again soon. I don't know how often I will be making these videos, but I will post up um, as I can, and I hope that you enjoyed this. If there's anything you wanna learn more about, let me know. I will gladly either make a video on it or send you information. Um, and I hope to see you around again. Again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. Let me know what you think down in the comments, whatever it is. I don't care if you want to make fun of me, whatever. Put it down in the comments. Um, I look forward to talking with you guys and I will see you again soon. Bye.